How is it going everybody? You're watching Then About Zach and today I bring you an updated video on how to calibrate your iPhone battery. And I do say updated because I'm recording this in 2023, I'm already running iOS 17 and this is an iPhone 14 Pro. But please keep in mind that this method works on any iPhone model running any iOS version. So the calibration process does not require any download, any app or anything like that, so it's completely free. And the intent of the battery calibration process is to help iOS get an accurate reading on the battery's state of charge, so on the actual percentage right here. And this will help prevent and fix issues like, for example, unexpected shutdowns and battery drain. So I'm going to teach you right now how to calibrate your iPhone battery and then later I'll explain you the technical details if you want to learn. So the process itself is extremely simple and all you have to do is go ahead and plug in your iPhone and charge it normally as you would to a hundred percent. And please keep in mind that the calibration process is not intended to be done every single time, very often or anything like that. I'm going to explain you how often you should do this in a second. Okay. So plug it in and wait for it to charge to a hundred percent and then leave it on the charger for at least two more hours. After that, you're going to unplug your iPhone when you are at hundred percent, right? And then use it normally until it shuts off. So until the battery dies completely. Okay. So just use it until it reaches zero percent. So use it normally outside of the charger until the battery is completely dead. And then after your iPhone is off, right? What you're going to do is actually plug it in once again, but this time you're going to charge it without touching it to hundred percent one more time. So then this time you're going to leave it charging from zero to a hundred without touching it. So without using the iPhone or anything like that, just leave it charging uh, completely without removing from the charger, anything like that, just let it charge. So of course this will take a little bit of time, but of course you don't need to do this process very often. And this is the part where I tell you how often you should do it. So there's no specific recommendation here, but I would say once a month. So just once a month, you do this process, the entire process, the whole calibration process, because as you know, charging your iPhone past 80% is bad for your battery. So don't do it all the time because otherwise this will do more harm than good. So the idea here is to just calibrate the iPhone. So just once a month, you do this process. You can do it like every 45 days, no problem. So around this margin. And of course, I need to explain you why this is important and why this is good and beneficial to your iPhone. Everything that I'm bringing you here in this video comes from I fixed it. Okay, so I'm sure you know I fix it is a very well known, reliable website that's been doing everything related to the iPhone and bringing knowledge for many, many years. And they have a whole section here on I fix it just on battery calibration. And this article is actually also based on two more other articles that are super technical and I'll leave this article from I fix it and their references as well from battery university. So you can see those articles as well, right here. I'll leave everything in the description down below. If you want to go ahead and take a look. So everything that I'm bringing in this video is backed up by a ton of data and studies. Okay. And the idea of this article, of this whole explanation is because batteries are actually electrical chemical storage systems. So you can't really know for sure the exact capacity it holds at any given time. So it's not easy to check right here, the exact percentage iOS can't really tell. And the thing is over time, this accuracy gets worse and worse. So then this calibration process that I told you that's right here based on all those articles will actually help iOS keep those estimates accurate by doing a full charge and a full discharge. So then this process of fully charging and then fully discharging will help this estimate and will help the whole process in iOS. So then that's the explanation and that's how you actually calibrate your iPhone battery. Follow the calibration process every once in a while and trust me, this will help you so much on increasing your iPhone battery lifespan in the long run. So that's it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next video as usual guys. Bye bye.